Generation after generation of readers have been thrilled by Ben-Hur. No book save the Bible has ever been so widely read. Now, as a motion picture, Ben-Hur has inspired enthusiastic acclaim in every corner of the earth. In New York, in London, in Tokyo, and in Hollywood, the most honored motion picture in Academy Award history. Yes, the spectacle, the color, the excitement, the human drama of Ben-Hur has swept the world. Ben-Hur is many things to many people. It transports you to strange, faraway places, to scenes of pageantry and revelry. Ben-Hur stuns with the impact of its violence and thundering action. and lift your spirit to the skies. But with all its spectacle and pageantry, Ben-Hur is a story of people, their conflicts, their loves. The story of Judah Ben-Hur, the prince who became a slave and dared the evil might of the conqueror. I tell you, the day Rome falls, there will be a shout of freedom such as the world has never heard before. Proud Quintus Arius was a stern enemy. Why did you save me? Yet, when Ben-Hur saved his life, he became a staunch and grateful friend. There was the beautiful Esther, for whose love Ben-Hur defied an empire. There was Masala, the power man, once Ben-Hur's boyhood friend. Now his deadliest enemy. You kill me and your mother and sister will die today. And there was the lusty Sheik Ilderun, ruler of a wild, exotic land. One wife, <laughs> one god. That I can understand, but one wife that is not civilized. It is not generous. <laughs> all that you have read about Ben-Hur, all that you have heard about Ben-Hur, is surpassed by the actuality.